This morning, abortions in North Carolina are banned for women who are 20 or more weeks along in their pregnancy. A U.S. district made this ruling, citing that North Carolina should follow the law set forth by the Supreme Court. Queen City News reporter Brett Baldeck is live just outside of Uptown here this morning with reaction from advocates on both sides of the abortion issue. Brett, good morning. Good morning, Savannah and Jason. As you can imagine, Governor Roy Cooper is against this ruling that bans abortions for women who are 20 weeks or more along in their pregnancy. And under this ruling, there are only certain circumstances where an abortion would be allowed, and that would be under an urgent medical need. Now, the interesting thing about this ruling is that the U.S. District Judge that made the ruling uh, basically made a ruling back in 2019 that said abandoning abortions was un unconstitutional. So what's different now in 2022? Well, the ruling at the Supreme Court in Washington that overturned Roe v. Wade. The judge here in North Carolina says the Tar Heel State should follow what the Supreme Court says. When reacting to this decision, it's clear that those for and against abortion remain far, far apart. Ultimately, it's just going to result in um, residents of our own state and the people who would depend on the state um, for access to care having to travel even further and pay even more to access the abortion care they need. This is the first step and uh, we're excited for the future because we believe that unborn babies are humans and they have rights. Now, Democrats here in North Carolina say that they are concerned that all of these different rulings are going to be confusing for women in North Carolina who are just trying to get reproductive health care. For now, reporting live just outside of Uptown, Brett Baldeck, Queen City News. All right, Brett, thank you very much. Now, in the wake of the judge's decision, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper releases this statement saying, Although I disagree with the ruling, the vast majority of patients will still be able to access health care in North Carolina and remain committed to protecting it. North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson is also reacting to the ruling. He says that he's encouraged to see a judge uphold the rule of the law and returning the issue of unborn lives back to the people. North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein emphasizes that women still have the right to an abortion until the 20 week mark of pregnancy. He also added that people want that right to continue to exist. They must elect legislators who share the same view.